So in this video, I will show you how you can set up a Blackmagic account and also how it will look like if you set up a $5 monthly plan for Blackmagic and when you now swap your files between the iPad and the desktop. Hey, I'm Daniel, I'm a filmmaker, a travel blogger, and I'm currently living in Portugal and I make a lot of videos about DaVinci Resolve. So if you're into that, consider subscribing because there will be more interesting videos and tips for DaVinci Resolve for your iPad. Inside of DaVinci Resolve for your iPad, you can open the project manager. It's this little icon here on the bottom. And here on top, you see three different ways how you can create libraries and work with your project. Number one is local. So in my case, for example, I have one local library. That's the one inside of my iPad. I have another library that is on my SSD drive and I would recommend you that you start using an SSD drive and just working on your SSD drive. This is the SanDisk Extreme 2 terabytes and it is as fast as working on the internal storage. Then of course you have your network, you could work in the network, but also you have Blackmagic Cloud. So first of all, creating an account is completely free and you can do this on the website of Blackmagic, doesn't matter where, everywhere here on the Blackmagic website you will see this login cloud icon. You can log into your account or create a new account. Let's say sign up. You will get an email with a confirmation. Please verify your Blackmagic account. Activate your Blackmagic account. Back to Blackmagic Cloud. And when you log into your Blackmagic Cloud, it will look like this. You have your settings with your name and with your payment and you have project servers. If you add project server, at the very first time you don't have a project server because creating the account is free. But to create a project server, which is basically one library, and you can have as many projects inside of that library, which by the way, this is just the skeleton of our projects in DaVinci Resolve. What does it mean? It's not the media file. You still have to find a way how to save your media files or if you work in a team, how to share those files. But Blackmagic gives you a very simple way how you can take those project files and just share them in the cloud very easily between those people. I will now set up set one up. It's called YouTube Daniel Kovac region. So this is where the server will be located. So in my case, I'm sitting in Europe at the moment, so it will be the fastest. It's for the, the Resolve 18.1. And, and now here you see all the information about the, it's five euros per month. You will have up to 10 Blackmagic users. So only one has to pay the $5. So if you now created an account for free and I invite you to my library, we can work together on the library. Payment is monthly and you can cancel cancel any time. So for example, I can create this account, work in a collaborative way, let's say for one or two months. After the work is done, I can copy all of my files, local or to a hard drive, no problem. It's not stuck in the cloud. And then I can quit the payment and it's done. So you can just use this even for a one-time thing if you want to collaborate and you, it's just $5 for one person. I don't have any payment information right now. So when I click next, I get this window here, payment information required. You do not have a payment method linked to your account. So go to my settings. And when you're in your settings, you can now add a credit card. Okay, so my card is added everything again. It doesn't save it, so okay, no problem. Let's do it just again. Choose location, once again, Europe, and for resolve 18.1, add. Yes, I want that one. Creating your project library. It only takes a couple of hours. Okay, to create a project, go to the DaVinci Resolve app. So now we can go back to the app, log in. So what I already can tell, I don't know if it's the first time, but it took longer to just load it. Could be the internet, but the internet should be fine here. I have full 5G. And now we can start making projects. Like, let's say a new project, test cloud project one. And here I make sure that all my files are on my SSD drive. So I'm only selecting now videos that are on my SSD. So for example, my videos from my YouTube channel, open, create a timeline. So what also works is you can go over here to your local drives. For example, here on my SSD drive, I have a test project that I made just with files on my SSD drive, test desktop. So I can now take this one, copy, go to the cloud and say paste. Okay, test desktop. So now here I have my desktop DaVinci Resolve app open. I haven't connected my hard drive yet. I just want to see how it looks. I'm already connected to the cloud or I was connected, but I didn't have any projects. So let's open cloud, which is very slow. It could be the internet, but, and we can open the test cloud project. Let's see how it works. I have the project open, all the settings are there, but I don't have the media. So this is why now I have to reconnect the media. I don't have it, but what I can do, I can now take my hard drive, plug it in because I made sure that all my files are on the media, right? And I can click here, this icon, 
link media, locate. And the cool thing is I can even just select the SSD drive because it's fast enough. It will now search the whole folders and boom, voila, it finds my projects. And now I can work immediately on that one. But like I told you before, you can even look at this as a tool for collaborative work. So let's say someone sits in Sydney, is your colorist and you want, he has already the media files, you somehow made sure via Dropbox or whatever, you just want that he is working on it in real time. You're doing editing stuff, he is doing editing stuff. So now what you can do, you edit with this cloud, only one has to pay. And now the time is over, Our let's say our desktop project, it's done. So we copy that one go over to our local files and just bring it in to our local files. And boom, you have the and you have your project there. So, let's jump here and let's let's see how it now looks when we update the website here inside of Blackmagic account. So, inside of our Blackmagic account on the website, we even see here we have the desktop project and we have the other project. Oh yeah, one more thing. What if you want to add someone to your cloud library? It's very simple. And you can do it on all devices. You can do it on the iPad, you can do it logged in in the browser, and you can also do it on the desktop. So for example, so for example, now I'm logged in into the browser. And if you're on the browser and you see your library, you see this little icon with the information or details. And now you see that we have one participant, so one member in this library. And we can just say share and type in the email address that we want. So for example here, I will share this now with my other account, Phoenix Nomates, share, boom. And now we see this one here. And you can do the same inside of DaVinci Resolve in the project manager. You see here this information icon and then you can just click on that one and you see this one here. So what is my recommendations? Like I said in the video, I think it's a great way to bring your project files and I think the power lies into the collaboration work. So if one pays the five bucks and you have up to 10 people working on the stuff or later on Blackmagic has even hardware where you can have a hard drive as a network drive and you can work on this one, perfect. But as long as you're like me traveling and you're just alone and you're maybe using your iPad and you want to just swap around, I would actually recommend you, you don't need those five bucks because now I saw it's even not as fast and you can create project files also on your hard drive. So for example, I have a library just sitting here. I don't have to pay for that. And because I have to take care of my media files anyway, so I have my projects files here and my media files here and you just have to like this is the most important step you have to make sure that all your media files are somewhere where you can find them but this is important for both ways if you have your project file sitting here or in the cloud so i would recommend and this is what i will do now i just as long as i'm working alone i will use this one bring my files over back and forward with this and keep the Blackmagic Cloud as an option for the future if I have to collaborate. Because on the desktop version of DaVinci Resolve, they even have collaboration functions included of DaVinci Resolve. That means you can work at the same time in a project and do work there. And I think it is just a matter of time when this will come to the iPad as well. So I think then we have the strength of this cloud-based thing. And yeah, it's up to you. Now you see how easy it is. And I hope you learned something. If you liked this video, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding a bang bang gong. I'm Daniel, and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.